Hey guys, welcome back to another Style and CSS tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to disable zoom and pan in uh, your apps. So, uh, let's just create a new folder. Disable zoom. So, this is actually quite a common problem a lot of people face when they're just trying to, uh, you know, make a web app. And if you see. If you look at a regular like iOS or Android app, it usually doesn't allow you to zoom in. Uh, so what I'm going to do to illustrate this point is, let's just do something like, uh, I don't know, we just need to put anything here. So let's just say, I don't want to zoom in on this. So I've actually got Chrome for this, just so I can try and replicate a, um, just so I can try and replicate a, uh, iPhone, I mean no, not iPhone but phone, uh, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm not able to do this, so another option we can do is we can actually open the simulator, uh, we'll just wait for the iOS simulator, and yeah, so what you can do if you actually want to test it on like a real device is you can actually open it on an iOS simulator and when it's running on this it's almost exactly how it's going to behave on an actual iOS device, so what I'm going to do is just uh, wait for this and you know we'll just wait for it to load but yeah basically uh, while we're here I can also show you guys the how to disable pan so uh, I, just, I can just copy this a lot of times and oh I guess I'm going to have to copy it a lot of times so let's just do this and I'll just do this Yeah, just enough so that I can actually zoom down. This is nearly done. Uh, not zoom down, pan down. And yeah, so what we can do is, first thing we can actually do is we can go over to here. Let's just go style and let's create a new body tag. And the tag which we're going to be using today is actually called touch action. And you can see when we open this, it actually gives us a lot of options. So if we select something like touch action none, then what this is actually going to do is not let us do anything. So I'm going to go to the simulator and we'll just copy this URL, paste it in in Safari, and wait for this. Alright, so you can see since we've let's just remove this for now. And we'll just remove that. And you can see we can zoom in and we can also do this, which you don't want to be able to do if you're trying to create a um, you know realistic web app which doesn't have this so what we can actually do very simple if we add this simple thing then it doesn't actually allow us to do that anymore which is very good but another a problem you'll see with this is that we can't scroll down anymore so to fix that what you can do is instead of touch action none you can do touch action pan y basically this allows you to pan in a y direction like this but it still doesn't let you zoom in or anything so yeah this is very good it keeps your apps um, like almost similar to native apps and yeah you should probably add this if you're trying to build a um, a nice web app experience so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in a future tutorial bye